number seven. If you thought number six was a doddle, look at number seven. Here's another three marks for nothing. There's this completed square form for a quadratic, and it simply says, if the turning point is at two negative four, what's the values of A and B? Well, A will be the negative of that, so A will be negative two, because X has to be the opposite of it to make that part disappear and leave you with B. But you probably just remember it's the opposite, but B is simply what it says there. B is negative four. The lowest y can be is negative 4 when the bracket comes to 0. That's two marks. Now what's b? Is this going to be harder? Equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, it's symmetrical down here. It's the same on either side. It must pass through the turning point since there's only one turning point. Cuts the x-axis at 2. Every point in that line has got an x-coordinate of 2. That's the equation of the axis of symmetry. Easy. Eight. Find the equation of the line joining these two points. Give the equation in its simplest form. Three marks. Well, the first thing would be, what's the gradient? Well, the gradient would be the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. You probably write y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Because that's what it is. y2 minus y1. That's a 15, take away a 5. x2 minus x1, that's a 3, take away a negative 2. 15, take away 5 is 10. That's 3 plus 2, which makes 5. So the gradient of the line is 2. Now there's two ways you could proceed. You could either go for y minus b equals mx minus a, or you could just go for y equals mx plus c. Either route will take you to the same answer. Say we take this one. So if the gradient's 2, I've got y minus, now pick a point that takes your fancy, maybe take this one, y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus minus 2, so I'm just going to jump straight in bravely with a plus 2, in its simplest form, right, well let's multiply out the bracket, 2x plus 4, so y equals 2x, bring the 5 across, minus 5 across is plus 5, 2x plus 9. Or what if we went for this? I know that the gradient's 2, so y equals 2x plus c. How can I find c? Same as with this, pop in one of those points. Maybe this time you'd prefer this one because they're positives. Maybe that took your fancy because it was subtract, and you subtract a negative would make it positive, and you like positive. But what's this? So picking this point, I've got 15 is 2 times 3 plus c. Write that the other way around. C plus 6 is 15, so C is, take away the 6, 9. Same as before, Y equals 2X plus C, so it's plus 9. Whichever way you like. Now number 9, write the following in order of size, starting with the smallest. Justify your answer, so you can't just at random rearrange them and hope that it's correct. There has to be some justification. Well, the easiest way to see that is just think of the cosine graph. What does it look like? It starts at 1, it goes down to negative 1, and then back up again by 360. So, and there's cos x. Cos 90, that's here. Well, cos 90 is worth 0. Cos 100 is just a wee bit beyond it, so here's cos 100. So I know that whatever it is, cos 100 is less than 0. That means it's smaller. And 300, well, it cuts again at 270. So 300's up here, which means cos of 300 is more than 0. Well, there you go. The lowest one is cos 100, because it's a negative number. The middle one is cos 90 because it's 0 and the biggest one is cos 300 because it's greater than 0.